Some of you may say to yourself, heck no, I want to stay away from this person. It's done. I am over the situation once and for all. There is no going back. Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for those of you who are still dealing with your ex. Now, I know the topic can trigger a lot of reactions, but some of you may still have doubts about giving a particular person a new chance in the romantic arena, and so we will investigate the energies to clear the air a little bit more. Let's see what we can get. So guys, let's take a look at what was the problem between you and your ex. We got these oracle cards, blinded to pain, forgetting oneself and artificial heart. What is coming through is basically about someone that chose to avoid to see what was going on uh, really in the connection. This can be about some of you, unfortunately. It's almost as if you turned a blind eye about certain things that all of a sudden became impossible to, to ignore. And that very moment uh, set you guys free. Artificial heart is all about someone that can fake feelings and emotions. This can be about your ex. Maybe they said that they were in love with you, but at the same time manifested a set of behaviors that was only focused on what they wanted. And at the same time, some of you forgot who you were, forgetting oneself. Because maybe this person was with a stronger character, you know, and some of you couldn't find immediately the strength in order to, to raise your head and your voice. But at some point you found that courage because maybe around you, uh, there was someone that encouraged you guys to stand up for yourself. This connection was harmed at its core. And that's why, guys, in the current energies for your ex, we have the Four of Cups, the Tower, clarified by the King of Cups. This person has a concept of love that is compromised at its core. The King of Cups is an energy about emotional maturity, but for me, it can also be an energy of someone that can struggle quite a lot to express feelings and emotions. And if you ask me, if we talk about love, love is a gift. Love should be demonstrated, displayed, proven day after day. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint because a lot of people can be able to say nice things in order to impress another person, but do they have the consistency that is necessary in order for a romantic partnership to stand the test of time, to overcome the challenges, to enjoy the positive moments, you know? This is the point and the tower, guys, unfortunately, is not in favor of your ex and of the connection that some of you shared with this person. The Four of Cups can be what they know can be an obstacle because they can try to apologize somehow, some way, but the past is not in their favor, the Three Cups down below, and your ex can be aware of the fact that you can be out of reach. If they are smart, and they can be because uh, we got the King of Swords, which is on point, if we think about that on an energy level, if they are smart, they know that the ship has already sailed and they lost it. They missed it. The tower is also an energy that we can associate to someone that is not stable, grounded, well-built as a human being. This person can be someone that is portraying an act, artificial heart, you know, they are, they are like a character on the stage um, at the theater, you know, they are playing an act. And so this is not going to be in their favor. How they see the connection, guys, two of swords, eight of wands, clarified by the two of cups. They still see the connection as the opportunity to share a future together with you. That's why they would love to have the chance to engage with you 
in a flow of communication that can allow them to bring up a crossroads, a choice, because they can be the one that can say in a conversation, if they get the chance to share it with you, let's try again. I still feel something about you. I still love you. I still have feelings for you. But their concept of love is completely different from the one that some of you have always tried to nurture. Unfortunately, guys, if the Two of Cups is the chance indeed to grow together with a special person, it's, it was impossible to grow with this individual. Maybe your intentions were genuine towards this person, but you paid a huge price uh, for the fact that you were involved in a connection like this one. And so there can be once again an encouragement in your favor in order to stay on guard when it comes to this interaction. So what's their angle? We got the King of Swords, the Knight of Wands clarified by the King of Pentacles. Now we have a couple of Royals figures, you know, uh, on the table, but the King of Swords can be the energy of someone that can take a look at the situation in order to connect all the dots. Unfortunately, the Knight of Wands is not in favor of your person because the Knight of Wands can be the energy of someone that can lack consistency. And we come back to the consideration that we have already shared. Consistency as a major factor in favor of a connection that can be successful in the long run. A connection that can win the marathon in the Romantic Arena. This person can say that this time, if you agree to give the connection another chance, things can be different because now they know what is necessary in favor of the connection. I would question these words. I would question them. Instead, um, I would imagine that this person may just desire to reconnect with you in a eight of ones, knight of ones way. So merely for the pleasure to fulfill certain physical desires. But in reality, it can be extremely difficult to think about stability when it comes to this connection. Because maybe this person is mistaking love uh, for lust or vice versa, lust for love. And the idea to build a future with a partner can be something completely different from the perspective that some of you can consider as a positive one. And that's why in the blockages for the connection, we have the Knight of Swords and the Three of Pentacles clarified once again by the Eight of Wands. So a recurrent energy about a flow of communication. Some of you do not want to talk with this person. That's why the Four of Cups. That's why the divine offer can come from your ex, but you can be the man or the woman under the tree. You do not want any peace with this person anymore. Justified, I would say, as a consideration, if we follow the blinded to pain oracle card and the forgetting oneself. Some of you may say to yourself, heck no, I want to stay away from this person. It's done. I am over the situation once and for all. There is no going back. A Knight of Swords, guys, another tricky energy. Fights, arguments, discussions for me, harsh words. That's why the tower in the past, let's say, was shaking more and more, more and more, and at some point it collapsed. So how can we find agreements, the Three of Pentacles? How can we work together? if we cannot even talk with each other in a positive, respectful and productive way. It's impossible if you ask me. We have to call a spade a spade and some of you are perfectly able to do that. This energy can just be a reminder if you need it. The Eight of Wands also in this version offers a book that is wide open. What uh, this person, what your ex can be for you, an open book. You know everything now. You have learned your lesson and now it can be time for you to make that lesson count. Speaking about lessons, the lesson of the connection, we got the Seven of Cups, the Four of Wands clarified once again by the Three of Pentacles. 
I will have to repeat myself a little bit because the Tree of Pentacles is the energy that can allow us to set solid foundations because we can work together with other people in order to manifest positive outcomes into reality. But we need openness. We need to listen to what other people may have to say. Um, there is no space for ego, let's say, in a Tree of Pentacles uh, type of scenario. Your ex can say that they want to work things out with you. I am not sure that um, those of you that can resonate with the scenario can be available to do the same thing. Because the connection brought forward a lot of questions and doubts. If there were betrayals of whatever type options on the Knight of Wands side, so your person's side, indecision, confusion, smoke screens. That's why if this ex was the one that was bringing up the cloud full of words, shenanigans and so forth, no wonder that some of you forgot um, what was the real purpose of the connection. If it was a marriage following the for ones amazing energy, the marriage unfortunately was compromised at its core. But in the four of ones energy, we can say that there is a vision, 11-11 card for a lot of readers, extremely powerful energy on a soul level. But even if we think about a soul to soul connection, there can be a higher purpose for those involved. And if someone is playing an act, even that purpose can be compromised. And so the connection can lose uh, its importance, its potential. If instead you were not married to this ex, but maybe it was a desire, you learned once again the hard way that in order to go the distance with a special person, we have to work together. The vision has to be the same. There has to be a balancing act involved. Otherwise, it's just a matter of time. The connection is going to pay a price for an unbalanced interaction, let's say, an unbalanced give and take between those involved. It seems difficult for these acts to be successful, guys. Let's ask for guidance, advice for you, considering these energies. Let's see what we can get. Here we go. All right, all right. We got three cards. Let's see. Transformation. Everything has to change. Maybe everything has already changed for some of you. And so there is no point in running the risk to face another tower moving forward. Spiritual growth. I love the energy, guys. It's amazing. It can be extremely important for some of you. I love the third eye open of the figure. So that's why this person can be an open book for you. Manifestation. So they can try to manifest a reunion. I think that they will have to let go of that um, desire. It can be extremely difficult for them to be successful. At the same time, some of you have already made the decision to manifest something completely different in your life. Tired of the arguments, tired of the fights, tired of the shenanigans, tired of suffer, tired of experiencing pain of whatever type, you know? Tired of dealing with someone that doesn't truly know what love can have to offer in favor of two people that make the common decision to share the journey together. It should be a plus. It should be a team effort. It shouldn't be a competition, you know, in order for one to prevail on the other one as many times as possible. It's not about that. And some of you got the chance to realize that. That's why if this person reaches out, trying to get things going with you, they are going to get an offer and answer, it seems. And this can be a wise decision, guys, if you allow me to say that. My friends, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you the best, take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.